So recently, I've seen a bunch of videos popping up where somebody takes a watering can and they start siphoning water from the end of it into a second watering can, which they siphon out the end of into a third, which they siphon into a fourth, into a fifth, however many they need, until they're able to make this chain of watering cans in a circle, each flowing into one another. And in the videos, they always make this big deal about, holy cow, I think we just made a perpetual motion machine. And someone else says, no, no, perpetual motion's impossible. Surely there's no way. Listen, if a video which is claiming to do something says that it's impossible, at very least we should question if it is impossible. And of course it is. I mean, perpetual motion just doesn't work. But most people don't work with siphons enough in their day-to-day -day life enough to understand why it wouldn't work. Without getting into the details, siphons work by basic water pressure. All this business with a bunch of watering cans is theatrical overcomplication. Overcomplication. I have over here what's known as Boyd's Perpetual Flask. If you'll give me one second. Here we have bucket and our flask. So, design is very simple. I have my container of fluid, some tubing, and in theory, I can take the tubing, it's capped right now, and put it over here and have the water flow through the tubing back into the original container. But as said, all siphons basically work by water pressure. So if I pop off the cap here, I can get it flowing, that's easy. Um, but as soon as I lower this down at all, we see the water stop flowing. And that point where it happens, I'll try to get the shot close enough that you can see, is right about the water level in the original container here. So of course I'm never going to be able to get it all the way up here to pour it into itself. I mean, I could weed it down deep into the container and make a loop that way, but then even if I manage to get water to fill the tube, it's just a filled tube. It's not actually flowing water anymore. It's just a container again. So that doesn't really work. And that's honestly a good thing, because setting this aside a little bit carefully, trying not to pour water everywhere, in theory I could go into space and I could take a ball and set it spinning forever, well, until it bumps into something or tidal locks with something, but in space that could work, kind of. On Earth, there's always going to be some resisting force, friction or air resistance, and we can't make something go forever. Something is always going to slow it down. So in order for us to make a perpetual motion machine, it needs to be able to overcome that resisting force. It needs to have energy coming from somewhere, which, yes, it loses some energy of friction, but it's getting it back. And if it's getting that back from itself, we run into problems. If I have my simplified perpetual motion machine, I can get it started, and we have that energy flowing through the circuit back to itself, providing enough energy to overcome what's lost to heat through friction, what have you. But there has to be some energy building up in this system. It's not really feasible to make a perfectly dissipating system. We can try, it helps, but there's an infinite energy source here. In theory, that's great. I mean, we can power all of the Earth off of one little device. But in practice, that energy is going to build up. The marbles, the water, whatever I have in the system starts flowing faster, and if we're lucky, the system breaks. If we're unlucky, if my system is sturdy 
rigid, able to withstand this energy buildup for a very long time, it explodes. And as we've said, this is an explosion with potentially infinite energy behind it. So um, let's just not. And there you have perpetual motion. It's fun to think about, but it never works. And if it did work, um, that'd be a thing. As always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and consider subscribing so you never miss out. It all really helps this little channel to grow, and I really appreciate it. Until next time, see ya.